so good morning students we are here to study the chapter number 10 that is exponent in power in previous video i have given you the exercise number first till question number 6 so this is from question number 7 here is evaluate okay so question is 1 upon 3 minus h to the power 1 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 all to the power minus 1 so we have read one identity that removing the minus power we have to use this law previously we have already studied so we will use this law so 1 upon 3 will become 3 1 upon 5 become 5 and that will be 3 minus 5 raised to the power minus 1 so ye minus 1 hai wo same rahega after that 3 minus 5 minus 2 minus 1 same again we have used this law so we will got the 1 upon 2 Minus one upon two. This minus one become positive, and power of one. Okay, so here is minus one upon two. Your answer. In the same way, second question is again evaluate the same question. So three raised to the power minus one is plus six minus one divided by three upon four minus one. In this again we have used the same law that is a minus m is equal to a one upon a m. In this. Minus three become one upon three. Minus six become one upon six. Again divided by three upon four become four upon three. Here we will solve by LCM. So we will get two plus one upon six divided by four upon three. Then three upon six into three upon four divided will change into into so that will be three upon four. Then three upon six into three upon four that will give you three upon eight. In next Again, same evaluate. Minus uh, power is there of two. Minus three power is there, and minus two power is there. First of all, again by using that law, same law, we have to change it. One upon three into three. One upon two become two, and here one upon four become four. Then three three is a nine minus two to the four to the eight divided by four four is a sixteen. One minus eight, nine minus eight, that will give you one. Divided by 16, that will give you 1 upon 16. That will be your answer. Again, we have used the same law. Next, 4 raised to the power 1 upon 3 into 4 raised to the power 1 upon 6. So, can we write 4 as 2 raised to the power 2 into 1 upon 3? Here, we can write 4 2 raised to the power 2 into 1 upon 6. Why? We will solve it in next step. In this we can't cut, but this we can cut. Two ones are two, three just six. So now two raised to the power two ones are two upon three into two one upon three. Base is same. Again we have we are using another law. Two m into a n is equal to a m plus n. मतलब base same है तो powers क्या हो जाते हैं? Add हो जाते हैं. So two two upon three plus one upon three that will give you two three upon three. That means three three cancel, remaining two. So two will be your Answer. In next fifth question, five raised to the power is zero into four raised to the power one minus one divided by eight raised to the power one upon three. First of all, we have we will use another law. A raised to the power zero will give you one. So five raised to the power zero it means one into one upon four. That minus one become one upon four. Here we can write eight as 2 into 2 into 2 it means 2 raised to the power 3 into 1 upon 3 3 3 cut so 1 upon 4 divided by 2 that is 1 upon 4 into 1 upon 2 that will give you 1 upon 8 that will be your answer and this we have used this law and this minus law also so children write this then we will continue our next okay So children, next question that is thirteenth. So in this eight raised to the power two upon three plus four raised to the power one upon two into eight one upon three raised to the power minus one upon three. <coughs> Again, power is given in negative form. First of all, we have to change this eight into two raised to the power three and four two raised to the power two, and this eight will be two raised to the power three. This same thing we have done in previous question also to solve the power. So here will be three three cut. Here also three three 
here two two will cut here three three will cut okay so here remain will four two plus two four plus two into two minus one upon three two two is a four four plus four raised to the power minus three eight eight power of minus one upon three that eight we can write two raised to the power three so three into three cut two raised to the power minus one that will be one upon two that will be your answer we have used only one law that is a minus m is equal to one upon a m this law is very much important in every question you are, you are using this law okay next question is 24 minus 1 into 36 1 upon 2 upon 48 minus 2 so first of all we will use the same law we will change the negative form so we can write 36 into 6 6 are 36 that is 6 raised to the power 2 so here will be 2 2 cancel now minus 24 so reciprocal will become 24 here and 48 raised to the power 2 now we will solve this 48 into 48 into 6 upon 24 so we will go at 96 into 6 that is 576 okay in this also we have used only one law main thing is that that you have to convert these number into a power form so we can solve that okay this small change we have to do in most of the questions so be careful about this note it so children our next question is question number 70 in that again 9 raised to the power 5 upon 2 minus 3 into 5 raised to the power 0 minus 1 upon 18 raised to the power minus 1 upon 2 so first of all children we will use the law that we have read already that is a raised to the power 0 will give you 1 so here 3 ones are 3 here minus 1 upon 2 power will become positive so 1 upon 81 will become 81 now we can write 9 as a 3 raised to the power 2 into 5 upon 2 in the same way we can write 81 as 9 raised to the power 2 into 1 upon 2 so 2 to cancel here 2 to cancel here remaining 3 raised to the power 5 minus 3 minus 9 so 3 raised to the power 5 matlab, 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is 243 minus 3 minus 9 240 minus 9 will give you 231 so here you will get a 231 we have used two law one that is a raised to the power 0 equals to 1 and another law we have used a minus m will give you 1 upon a m okay next in this question you have to find the value of x so 4 raised to the power 2x plus 5 is equal to 64 in this you have to find the value of x then we can write 64 as 4 raised to the power 3 now base is same 4 4 so that we can cut now remaining 2x plus 5 is equal to 3 so 2x is equal to 3 minus 5 5 will transpose so addition is there so here will be subtraction 3 minus 5 now x is equal to 3 minus 5 minus 2 this again transposition minus 2 upon 2 that will give you minus 1 so your x value will you get minus 1 so note down it so here is your question number 20 so in this you have to trans uh, change this number into standard form so 1.52 that is you have to convert into a standard form so first 1 into 10 raised to the power 0 plus 5 1 upon 2 decimal ke baad means 1 upon 10 10's place space so 1 upon 100 so we can write this 1 upon 10 as minus 1 power in the same way 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 so that will be 1 into 10 raised to the power 0 plus 5 into 10 minus 1 plus 2 into 10 minus 2 that is your standard form and previously also I have explained this so you have to do like this only next question same question it is 6 8 7 1 2.5 1 
that will be 6 into the, uh, 10 raised to the power 3 plus 8 into 10 raised to the power 2 plus 7 into 10 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to the power 0 plus again after point 2 into 1 upon 10 plus 5 into 1 upon 1000 0 hai to usko nahi likhenge then it will be 10 in, uh, 6 into 10 raised to the power 3 plus 8 into 10 raised to the power 2 plus 7 into 10 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to the power 0 plus 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 1 plus 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Okay, so this will be your standard form. Now in this you have to commit in usual form. So 5 1 upon 3 that will be root 3 under root 3 pi. In question number 22 you have to convert this into this form. So 25 root 5, so square root of 25 is 5, so 5 into 5 that will give you 25, in the same manner power of 5 is there, 32 upon 243, so we can say 2 raised to the power 5 and 3 raised to the power 5, so power power cancel, 5 5 cancel, so answer will be 2 upon 3, so here your 10.1 is completed, so please practice it and write it and complete your copy and what are the doubts so you can message me in a whatsapp group personally okay thank you note down it so here is your next exercise 10.2 of exponent power in this you have to see about the standard form and normal form question number first you have to convert it into standard form question is given 0.000038 you have to convert it into standard form so first of all beta you have to convert it into upon form 38 upon how many zero 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so upon 6 0 will be there then you have to keep the point after 3 point okay because you have to keep it into standard form. So 3.8 into how many zero remaining? 5. Divide form with it. That's why here negative sign will be there. Agar in 2 other though positive motor. So it will be negative 10 raised to the power minus 5. Next question you have to convert it into normal form. It is given in standard form. Pe humne normal se standard kiya, yahan se standard se normal karenge. So 6.58 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. Minus 4 means upon. Upon me aega. Okay. Upon me 4 0 aenge. Now, you have to convert it into normal form. So, point is after 6, you have to go back 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. It means 0 0.00065. It will be your answer. Question number third is again, you have to convert it into standard form. So, again, simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After 7, how many counting? 5. So, 7.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. Easy. You have done previous classes also in 7th class also. In 4th, again, you have to convert it into normal form. It is in the standard form. So, 4.03 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So, 0 0.03. So, after 4, you have to go back 6. So, 0 0.00000403. It means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to go back 6 because power of minus 6. Question of 5th in your book, uh, it is given that mass of earth is given 5.97 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg. In the same manner, mass of moon is given 7.35 into 10 raised to the power 22. You have to find the total mass. So, better till these value will not be same, powers will not same. You can't take common. So first of all, you will convert this 24 into 22. How? 5.97 agar hum isme into 100 kar de. Means power of 2. 10 raised to the power 2 kar de. That will become 597. Then it will become 10 raised to the power 22. So hum yaha total mass pahle to likhenge. After that, 597 plus 7.35. 597 kyo? Kyunki we have given 100. Isko de di hamne into isme kar diya. So 24 ki place pe hai? 22. So we have taken 10 raised to the power 22 as a common. Now when we will add so 604.35 into 10 raised to the power 22 kg will be your total mass. 
okay in sixth question distance between sun and earth is given and distance between moon and sun is given but in this when during the solar eclipse distance between moon and sun it means you have to find the difference of both again like previous question 10 raised to the power 11 yahan pe 10 raised to the power 8 hai so we have to convert this 11 into 8 again we will into by 1000 3 power some kind to kar denge in this so it will become 8 so now we will subtract first of all so when we will add 1000 into 1.496 so it will become 1496 minus 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 meter common so your answer will be 1492.16 into 10 to the power 8 meter that will be your distance between moon and sun during solar sky. so this is your exercise number 10.2 so complete it and practices some questions are left which you have to do in homework in whatever the doubt uh, you are facing so please bear in whatsapp group you have to send your message personally with your name that in this question you are having doubt so our chapter is completed so afterward my video will be of doubt class okay and please use earphone regarding the video okay so note down it